Luma sent us. Where should we go? You're not Onyx. I'm Onyx. No, you're not, cadet. <laughs> Stay here and defend this area. The East Wing is getting hammered. <laughs> missile. Cadet, leave strategy to men with bars. I don't want to hear a word from any of you until Paddock's boogeyman is dead and I can... Lieutenant Baird here. Lieutenant, what is your position? Onyx Point. We've just activated the light mass and we're about to... Uh... Not another goddamn word, Lieutenant. That missile is sitting in that silo for a reason. Colonel, you have no idea what you're up against. I know exactly what I'm up against. The grub who killed a bunch of worthless indies. I'd shake the bastard's hand if I could. Then you and your men will die. Lieutenant... Arrest Private Paddock and remain on that rock. Actually, no. Cadet Hendrick, arrest Paddock and Lieutenant Baird if he resists you. This is Omega-2. We're pinned down two blocks from the museum. We need an evac. We're mobilizing, Sergeant. We can have a raven to you in an hour. We don't have an hour. We could be there a whole lot sooner. I'm gonna rescue Omega. That's a coincidence. So am I. It's done. Cadet Hendrick, what is your position? Uh, we're aiding another unit, sir. What unit? Did you stay on the island as ordered? Colonel, if we don't fire the light mass, everyone in Halvo Bay is going to die. Lieutenant, listen carefully. That weapon is being saved by smarter men than we for a purpose. If you fire it, I will have you tried and shot. Fine, I'll see you in court. I suggest you take cover, sir.
you to stay on that island, Lieutenant. Make sure the bastard's dead. Go! Move, Lieutenant Baird. Survival depends on one thing. Gears follow orders. But I look at you and I don't see a gear. I see something more dangerous. I see a hero. Well, congratulations, hero. Millions of citizens you've sworn to protect might die because of what you did today. I hereby charge Kilo Squad with desertion, cowardice, Trespassing, the theft of experimental military technology, and treason! Does that sound about right to you, Lieutenant Baird? denied any right to an attorney and may not question the authority of this tribunal. So we can't ask why you're doing this now. At the conclusion of this tribunal, I will issue a fair and swift verdict. Right. Of course you will. Colonel, are we being charged with doing our job? The charges will be defined as I hear your testimony. Now, Lieutenant Baird, begin with the last time we saw each other. We've been in Halville Bay for a few days. We'd seen some action, but nothing like... Um, you know... Nothing like what, Lieutenant? Nothing like Karn, sir. Our old convoy had been wiped out in minutes. Never seen anything like it. The museum was on the other side of the river, the side the Cog no longer controlled. I thought maybe we could slip through unnoticed. It was faster to go through the empty buildings than around them. They were all so... abandoned. If no one here had been evac'd, where was everyone? Black Force said they were losing the East Wing. He didn't mention they'd lost everything on the way there. While the quickest way out was through the archives, I learned a lesson. If you're trying to avoid Locust, don't go downstairs. Our comms were sputtering back to life. Whatever was blocking the signal must have moved on.
Cadet Hendrick, I'm curious to hear what it takes to convince an Onyx Guard cadet to steal one of the COG's most powerful weapons. I was against it, sir. That's right. Run to Daddy. <laughs> I'm an academy cadet. I had to see if my friends were alright. Opening that door wasn't easy. I knew what I was gonna find. On the other side. So I turned my heart off. It was the only way I'd make it. Before entering the lab, we needed to clear security. I was still in the system. The bot would lead the way from there. He knew the shortcuts. We just had to keep him close and safe. The bot was holding up well. I just hoped he still knew where he was going. He couldn't exactly beep, I'm lost, could he? So, Paddock. Are you here as Major Paddock of the UIR, or Private Paddock of the COG? Whichever one you like less. The Open Arms program may have given you our uniform, but you and I remain enemies. Fine. Let's settle this like enemies, then. Hey, hey, hey! That's enough! Stand down. You Garaznis weren't known for treating prisoners very well. I'm sure you know nothing about it. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You don't seem like a man who takes orders. Why even follow Baird? You might say I had an ulterior motive. Professor Elliot was the only one who had the launch codes for the light mass missile. His missile. Thanks to him, half of my face was burned. I decided not to take that personally. We were getting close to Elliot's mansion. I was beginning to have my doubts that he survived. The Professor's mansion was on the other side of that chasm. We were getting close. We couldn't get into the Professor's house until we eliminated those mortar squads. Every mortar squad. We had one mortar squad left to find and kill. There wasn't much time. Sophia took us to the Professor's secret entrance. We all knew what was up with the two of them by this point. Private Augustus Cole, you've been atypically quiet until now. Oh, listen up. All we gotta do is... <laughs> I assume you actually listen to your crash ball coach from time to time? Crash ball? You're not a fan. Pretend war? No. How are you finding the real thing? I've been more comfortable. Then unburden your mind. Next, we headed for Onyx Point. We went on inside. I hope you don't plan on shooting us for trespassing, Colonel. I already have plenty of reasons to shoot you, Private. Couldn't tell which way led to the light man's missile. 
kept opening up the heaviest looking doors. Eventually, we picked the right one. We hadn't seen any other gears in ours. I started wondering if we were the only ones left in Havo. Even I was getting a little nervous. Colonel, I think you might want to send a battalion out to Onyx Point. When we're done here, the grubs seem to like that place. The door was the only way back to the missile lab, and now it was shut tight. It was time to get back to the beach. How did you get off that island, Private? Oh, that was the fun part. Getting back out there and fighting, Captain! Sir, they're right outside! Then it'll be a short walk. I'm waiting on you. Finish up. The light mass missile was ready to launch. We needed to find Karn, get the beacon close to him, and fire. And where was Karn? Well, Omega knocked out his cedars at the museum. I figured he'd want to deal with that personally. Colonel Loomis, Karn had already wiped out several Onyx companies. Did you really think you had things under control? These grubs are smarter than we think. Earlier in the day, Old Town seemed deserted, even though it hadn't been properly evac'd. Where did everyone there go? Now we know. The rooftops. They thought they'd be safe. They thought wrong. The closer we got to Karn, the more ferocious the fight. And everything on those rooftops stunk of death. Only a little bit more until he reached the museum. Of course, killing Karn meant sacrificing the bot. I didn't feel great about that. But, you know, the hell with it. I could build another bot. This court has reached a final verdict. Any last words? Men like you are why I fought the Kog. We saved a lot of people today. Yeah, including your ass. No final words from you, Lieutenant? Maybe you have a point, sir. We saved, what, a thousand people? The light mass missile was designed to save millions. I know that. But if Karn had taken Halvo, we might have lost a chance to save anyone.
What do we do? We take our time. There's a difference between war and cruelty. War is cruelty. And this one's not over. A word, Lieutenant? That's the last time anyone's going to address you as Lieutenant. I'm dropping the charges, but you'll never be an officer again. Yeah, why should all these brains be wasted on an officer? Sir. Private. <laughs> Devler. No wonder I was supposed to keep an eye on you. On me? For what? I guess they thought you might try to steal our military technology. Which you did. Illegally access military technology. There's a difference. Uh, pardon me, Lieutenant Baird. It's Private Baird now. Loomis just demoted me. My congratulations. Couldn't have done it without you. I think that means I might be in charge. <laughs> Perfect. Cole, do we have this much tension between us? <laughs> yeah, I think we 